when I think about my grandfather, I'm always in awe to think about the fact that he spent his life standing up for Hashem, doing for Hashem, making protests. He stood up for Hashem. He was ready to go to battle. He was one of the Hashemites. He was a guy. He acted like he was fearless. And I remember thinking, I remember once asking him, I said, Zadie, how did you once rise up and make a public spectacle? He phys- physically assaulted someone. The Kvayt of Hashem. And when he was going to do that, he was sitting at a table with other Rabbanim. And this speaker was denouncing Hashem and his Torah. And my grandfather said, we have to protest. And the Rabbanim at his table said, no, no, not now. Not now. He has to be stopped. So my grandfather told me he took his glasses off, put them in his pocket. He was ready to go to battle. Two Rabbanim mm-hmm. on either side of him grabbed his arm. He said, I looked at them and I said, if you're holding on to me, you're going to be joining me and coming with me. And if you're not planning on joining me, Disattach yourself from my arm. And he went and he lodged this public protest. And I asked him, say, weren't you embarrassed? How did you do that? He said, embarrassed. He said, told me Yiddish. He said, if someone was beating your mother at the bottom of the steps, three guy, and you were watching from the window, and your blood began to boil. Would you make a cheshbin? Is it could I to run out and get myself pummeled? I'm only one guy. I can't take out three guys who look like they're armed. You don't think it's your case. You know what you do? You open the door. You rush down the steps. And you just jump into the fray. For the covenant of your mother said, I saw this man was being mevaza, desecrating the table. It wasn't any personal. He wasn't doing anything to me. He was desecrating Hashem public. I should keep, sit, sit quiet and let that happen. And I remember thinking to myself, wow. To feel that sense of honor to Hashem to go do Melchama, which is not personable. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.